What's up, everybody? John McPherson, 704 Outdoors. You know, we've been uh, talking a lot about this AR-15 stuff that's been uh, really hopping lately. Uh, we got us uh, AR-15 here with a DPMS lower with a stag upper. Done a couple things to it. We got us a scope here with a lighted reticle. We put the uh, foreign right here with all the Picatinny rails all the way around. Uh, we picked up the uh, the Kamanga Easy Mag. Uh, we talked to you guys about the Easy Load magazine. Um, another thing that we picked up, this the reason for this build was for hog hunting at night. And just hog hunting in general, really. Um, if we've seen any, we try to stock on them, but uh, mostly this thing has been built for uh, night hunting with lights. We all got sniper hog lights on our guns and uh, got the exterminator feeder light on our feeders. Uh, but the ammunition, that's the next the next thing we're looking for is something that's going to do well. And you've heard, I'm sure most of you have, about the Winchester Razorback XTs. Just picked up a couple boxes. I've been waiting for these things. Apparently, uh, they were in such demand that it took literally four five maybe even six weeks for me to get these so when i got them i got a few boxes of them um, these are the uh, 223 remington 64 grains uh, we're going to uh, take a look at them and uh, you guys are going to get to see them with us for the first time we're going to compare them uh, we've been shooting the barnes vortex in a 55 grain so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a look at these see the difference go load up the gun we're gonna side it in for these. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be some small changes, but uh, we're gonna make sure that we're on so that way uh, we we'll take a shot at a haul. We're not gonna have any excuses, so uh, you know, stay tuned. We're going to uh, take these in the woods, try to kill us some hogs with it, and uh, see what the difference is between these Winchester Razorback XTs and maybe the Barnes Vortex. Some of us still shooting the Remington uh, UMCs, so. Really, uh, we want to see what the difference is. We're going to take a look uh, and see what we got. So let's uh, open it up here. Like I said, I, hadn't, uh, I like to share things with you guys for the first time so you guys get, you know, first look with, you know, with me. And uh, here's the rounds right here. I'm kind of funny looking. You can see there's actually got flat. It's got beveled edges, it's flattened on the sides there. It's got a little, uh, like a Phillip, Phillips tip on it. So, we're gonna compare this to the other ones, and uh, like I said, we're gonna lo load up our uh, Kamanga Easy Mag, take a few shots, see what the difference is, sight in the rifle, and go in the woods, and hopefully we'll kill us a hog with it, and uh, let you guys see the damage. So, we're gonna get to it here. All right, well, there's what we've been shooting is the Barnes Vortex and a 55 grain for the 223. And these are the Razorback XT's 64 grain. They have a, uh, a little different uh, bullets in them. As you can see, uh, the Razorback has a beveled profile that they considered a protected hollow point. You see it's got like a uh, sort of like a Phillips type little X and a tip of them compared to our Barnes hollow point. They're both copper solids. Um, the uh, Winchester Razorbacks just have a little different profile. Kind of neat looking. They're different, a little wild. Uh, we're going to load up the AR with them, take a couple shots. Like I said, they are uh, 64 grain compared to the 55 we've been shooting. So we're going to sight in the AR, make sure it's hitting where we want to hit, and we're going to take it to the woods. So uh, stay tuned, and like I said, uh, hopefully smack us a hog with it, and we'll see uh, how they do.